Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to use BotPress to build your portfolio AI automation bot. So if we go here to my portfolio bot and I say for example hi, it's gonna answer me with greetings. I'm Vuk, a highly skilled and experienced AI and software engineer. What would you like to hear about? And then it offers chatbot AI experience, general software experience, YouTube channel, other. Let's say I click chatbot AI experience. What is my chatbot AI experience? I have over three years in experience in building AI chatbots using platforms like BotPress, Slack AI, and automating tasks through Zapier. It says my experience here in AI. Let's say I want to know about my general software experience. It's gonna list my general software experience right here. Let's say I can also add in my YouTube channel. And let's say I wanna ask another question. What is your pricing? It's gonna pull from the information database the standard price for automation chatbot, depending on the project, is $200 to $400. This is only if you are a developer for an agency that manages clients. If you are also talking to the client, managing client, you know, doing everything else, then you can charge anywhere between $1,000 and $5,000, depending on the project. So right now, let's go on to the tutorial. So you will come to BotPress website, you will create a new account if you don't have one, and you will create a chatbot right here. You can click here to edit the chatbot that we just created. For now, we will start from template and we will use basic empty template. If you have never programmed in your life, this will be a bit more difficult, but don't give up. It's not actually too hard. It's made to be as simple as possible. So from the start of the conversation, we will draw this node and we will say, create a new standard node. We can rename this to hello. And then we're gonna add a card right here. Click add card and then we can add, for example, text card. And here, this is the message that will be sent in the beginning of the conversation. So, greetings. Then we can add another message. If you have your resume, you copy your entire resume and you paste it into ChatGPT. And then you tell it, this is my resume. Write a paragraph introducing myself. Talk in first person. And then you can say, this is too long. Make it more concise and clear. This is for an application in AI. So omit or just mention other things that are not related to AI. So this is, for example, the second message you can send in your chatbot. So right here I can copy paste. What you can do is because this is markup, you can put double stars around. So it's going to bold it out. So if we go ahead and go click start and then press display, it's gonna send these messages. It's gonna simulate the chatbot. Greetings, I'm Vuk Rosic, a highly skilled and dedicated software developer specializing in AI. So we have this part right here. And then just to make it clear, we're gonna transition to another node. So this is the introduction. And then in order to transition, we need to tell it to transition. So we're gonna click here, add card, and we're gonna add an expression. Expression will basically transition onto another node, but you need to give it a condition. So if the condition is true, it's gonna transition into this node. So if we just say condition true, it's gonna transition into this node. But we can, for example, also say two plus two is equal. This is how you check if it's equal in JavaScript four. This will return as true. But if we say this is equal to five, this is not gonna re return as true. So this will not transition into this node. It's usually when you have like variables, for example, if you have customer age, is more than 18. That's what four conditions are designed. Right now, we always want to transition, so we're gonna say just true. So this will be renamed automatically to always, so this will always transition. And in the next node, what do you want to talk about? We're gonna add a new card, and we're gonna ask the viewer what they want to talk about next. Single choice. So we're gonna give them a multiple choice question, but they only can choose one single choice. So the question, we will give them, what do you want to talk about next? We're gonna press this uh, plus button right here, and then we are going to add a multiple choice. So for example, what I like to add is general software experience. I also like to add my YouTube channel. I would recommend adding everything that's related to software. So my YouTube channel is related to the software and they can see my experience on my YouTube channel. Do not add your personal Instagrams that has nothing to do with software or your Twitter that has nothing to do with software. And then we are also going to add another option and then say other. 
So these three options, first three options, are going to have predefined messages that we are going to send as answers to these options. But this last option, that's other, we are going to ask user to ask question and then the AI will answer it. So for the first three, we are just going to send a predefined message. Every option has this little node. You can transition into the next standard node with this node. But you can also disable these nodes, transitions, by pressing on this button. It will disable them. So that is useful for other things that are a bit more advanced, like variables. We don't need variables in this uh, video. I will teach variables maybe another time. This is just pure beginners. So if the user chooses my AI chatbot experience, we will go here and we will send a, another text message right here. This is the message that I'm going to send. If you don't have this much experience, I would recommend like what's most important here is BotPress, Stack AI and Zapier. Those are the things that you can learn. Those are the easiest and the most important things. You can learn these very easily. You don't need to know like LSTM, simple transformer, CNN logic, logistic regression, etc. Those are like nobody is going to ask those things in an automation agency. This business model doesn't have anything to do with, with these things. It, it just doesn't, but I just like to put them there to show that I have this experience, but I will actually never use this in this like chatbot automation business. I will only use BotPress, Stack AI, and Zapier, and those are the easiest to learn. This is a very, very new market, so there is no competition right now, but in, a, in a three, four years, there will be huge competition here, just like there is huge competition in Shopify. So that's why, if you are wondering how is it not competitive and easy, that's because we are very early in the market. Okay, and then after we send this message, we then want to transition from this node. So we will need expression and the condition will be true. We will always transition back into the previous node that's asking what do you want to talk about next. Let's test our chatbot right now. I can actually start from any single node I want to debug, although some things you cannot start. But let's start from chatbot. So we actually want to clear this conversation and start from the beginning. Hi, greetings. So what do you want to talk about next? My AI chatbot experience. Let's see what it's gonna do. And then it sends this message. I have three plus years of experience. So this is the message that we just implemented right here. And then it's gonna go back, loop around and return to what do you want to talk about next? This is the transition we implemented. So right now, if I say, I want to talk about my YouTube channel, well, it's gonna end the conversation because after that, there is nothing. Okay, let's start with my YouTube channel, standard note. We're gonna send text. I have a hobby YouTube channel where I upload videos about AI and software projects I create. Here is the link. And then I actually like to send the link in another message, but it doesn't matter. So you will notice that there is weird syntax here. So this kind of syntax is called markdown. Whatever you put in these square brackets, it's gonna be a text that you can click on and it will open the link you put in these normal brackets. Before we test this, let's also implement my general software experience. So I'm gonna add another standard node right here. I am going to add another text message. I'm going to paste my general software experience. So I wanna show you, this is also markdown. Let's test these things. But first I'm gonna just make an expression that is a transition, so it's important. Anyways, let's add an expression here. So it's important that this gets executed from top down. If you put a transition above it, then it's never gonna reach the, the thing below transition. So the transition is going to be true. We're gonna put the transition below. We are also going to add transition here. Go back to what do you want to talk about next? So what I will do is I will actually completely start a new conversation and then I'm gonna say hi again. This is working properly right now. So the only thing that's left is the other option. So this is other. So if we want to option, option other will allow users to ask any question and then the AI will answer it based on information we give AI right now. So we're gonna click on this button and say add knowledge base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste my entire resume into this. So the AI has all of this information. We can go here to other node. We're gonna pull it down and say, create a standard node. You wanna go onto this node and right here, enable knowledge answering. It doesn't matter what capture information field you take. You can actually take any of them and then you can go ahead here and change it to raw input. So raw input is just like text. What is your question? And then below that, we are going to add another expression. So in the case, there is no answer from knowledge base. It's going to return true here. And then it's going to go towards this node. But 
As I said, this is just a label. We need to add the condition that it, that's gonna execute and check if there is answer from knowledge base. So we wanna disable this generate with AI. We wanna delete all of this turn. So turn is an object that contains the current turn in the conversation. If you don't understand what I just said, it doesn't matter, dot. So this turn has properties. So we are interested in this property called knowledge agent. We click that and then this has also properties we need this property responded. So this is a boolean, so it means it's true or false. So if he finds a response, this is going to return true, but no answer in knowledge base. That means we want to see when there is no answer, not when there is answer. In order to negate this, we are going to add exclamation mark in the beginning. So this will turn true into false and false into true. And then at the end, we are going to add another expression. So this expression will always be true. This means that either this node will exit here if there is no knowledge, or if there is knowledge, it's not gonna exit here, it's gonna exit here, and it will always exit here. This is always true. Let's put this into this other question. So this will now infinitely ask questions. Implement another transition and we are going to go back into other question. We need to put the condition for the transition, it's always true. Let's test other, I have another question, okay. How much do you charge? I was not able to find an answer to that question in the knowledge base, but actually it should have been able to find the answer and we go here, agents and this knowledge agent, this is already enabled. So that means that I haven't forgot the problem was that I put my database information into the description field. This is just a description of your database, of your knowledge base. You need to create a new knowledge base source as for example, plain text, and then put your knowledge base here. How much do you charge? How much do you charge? Okay, now it works. Here is the thing though, sometimes, this doesn't update. I don't know why. If you are suspicious that it just didn't update even though you fixed your issue, you can go ahead and click new conversation and it's, it should update. We are going to press publish, share your chatbot. Now the chatbot memory cache in your browser will not be reset. So if you want to have a new clean chatbot, one of the ways you can do it is control shift N it's gonna open a new tab, new incognito tab and then and it should have a brand new chat for you. So we can go ahead and test it with hi. Generate software experience. Do you have experience with uh, JavaScript? Yes, I have experience with JavaScript. As you can see, our chatbot works. You can send this as your portfolio to your potential agencies that you apply or to your clients. You can find this chatbot in my description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.